Devin with Checo, and we're here at ARBS 2018 uh, here in Sydney, Australia, and I'm standing here with Greg Clements uh, from Gaia. Good morning, Devin. Yes, um, Greg Clements is the head of compression sales uh, for Gaia. Correct. And um, we're standing here at the Gaia booth. We're talking about some of the industrial refrigeration compressors that they're showcasing here at the booth today. Um, these are ammonia compressors, and uh, Greg, I just wanted to know a little bit more about uh, how, what does the market for industrial refrigeration look like, especially in terms of sales of these types of ammonia compressors? Okay. Well, particularly with the trend towards natural refrigerants, the sales and the need for compressors, both screw and reciprocating, for natural refrigerants has definitely increased over the last five years. There is no doubt about it. The trend we see more and more, in particular over the last two years, is not just focusing on the compressor, but focusing on a compression solution that includes whole of life. And when we say a whole of life, it's not just spare parts, it's about energy consumption. Um, for instance, with our V reciprocating compressors here, ideal for applications where you have load turned down. And when I say load turned down, Devon, for instance, big cold stores in the middle of the night, they shut their doors so their refrigeration need drops off. What happens with the reciprocating compressor is when the reciprocating is applied with a VSD, variable speed drive, as the load drops off, the VSD slows the compressor down to minimum speed, then mechanically drops the pistons off. So that therefore, for instance, if it was an eight cylinder compressor, you might only have two, compress uh, two pistons pumping, so therefore you're not consuming any That's energy. Energetic. And that is a big point of interest with the end users, in particular the end users who are in it for the long term. 10 or 15 years. So that's one of the things that we were talking about is when you're talking to some of the customers here, they're looking more at the long-term life cycle cost. Correct. And Correct. so that means, it, in addition to the variable speed compressors, which uh, modulate the energy use and yep. help you sa save energy, yep. these customers are also uh, responding to the use of natural refrigerants, which means they don't have to worry about changing refrigerants in the future. Is, is that Corre fair also? Correct, and they're future-proofing themselves from a perspective of having an energy-conscious solution, but from a natural refrigerants perspective, they've got refrigerant. They don't, they don't have to worry about in two years or three years or four years, is that refrigerant going to be outlawed? Does it need to be updated? They don't have, they are future-proofed. So then, they can go to their accountants in their business and say, I need this much money, this is the solution I'm going to have, but I'm right for 15 years. And then they're off and racing, so to speak. Behind me on the left side is our new M screw package solution. The screw package is ideal when you have a constant full load, and also with the M package, we've streamlined, gone to a horizontal oil separator, we've simplified the refrigeration design, we've got a flange mounted compressor and a motor that only has two mounts. So very much a simplified design. What does that mean? It's cheaper for the contractor, in turn cheaper for the end user. Do you see more of the industrial refrigeration market in Australia moving towards these types of compressors? Absolutely, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. In particular, um, there's also a trend now that having embraced natural refrigerants, in particular ammonia, then it's how can we minimise our charge? Okay, our, our charge of refrigerant. We've future-proofed ourselves, but how can we minimise it further? Ideal for that application, Devin, ideal. Great, thank you very much, Greg. A pleasure. Good to see you again, Devin. Yeah, nice.